I'm really grateful to be here. I was very expectant, and I'm still expectant of this work now. We've missed one chance for two years, and uh, it's really been tough on us. Even the online league sometimes, we missed this whole thing. Here we go. So, my name is Kasiri Aga, and uh, I wear a lot of hats sometimes. But the thing that I do, I've been doing WordPress since the record. I'm not so good at coding, but I'm good at interface. And uh, sometimes I have the eye. I also do uh, SEO, search engine optimization. I do graphics design, I digital design. <laughs> Content creation. Content creation. <laughs> I'm a strong <laughs> contributor who contributes to language translations. <laughs> I translate uh, WordPress to Uganda. It's something I'm very passionate about. <laughs> yeah. Everyone here can become a translator. We have 33%. The time we make 100% and Uganda is shipped out, everyone of you will join the internet. Oh my kid! This is a record people. Okay, so uh, recently I did an interview and uh, well, I will share I think, some lesson about uh, WooCommerce and uh, podcast in Uganda. So this was the interview, very insightful. You can go to do the wood.io and you will find it there. That's it. Well. E-commerce best practices ruling your customers never got easier. So today, how many of you have e-commerce shops? Who hmm? oh, ever worked for those shops? Yes, you have one. You do. Yes. Okay. You also have one. You want to have one. Perfect. Well, um, most I think the pandemic taught so many people about websites and going online. It's okay, there is a blessing also in this guys, but it helps people to understand. You don't have to explain a lot of things, uh, what a website will do, what. Just tell example, you're going to be online, simple. You're going to see your website, your products online, and that's what people will agree. At least they understand now. We have a lot of content creators, people use YouTube a lot nowadays, that back then. And people can buy. Because back then people used to say YouTube was, you know, all that data for nothing. But people consume videos more than actually text. Mm. So you see how dynamics have changed. Mm. So back to WooCommerce. Um, WooCommerce, first of all, is a plugin, an open source plugin by WordPress. Mm. So WordPress is an open uh, source software which has been here for more than, I think, 18 years now. It's old. And uh, this is one of the plugins that helps you to run e-commerce shops on WordPress where you can build and sell anything. When I say anything, I mean anything. From digital products to online subscriptions to uh, physical products to services bought online in form of subscriptions. So this is quite a robust tool here. And uh, today we're going to uh, go, uh, let you go through uh, plugin, sorry, to uh, teach you the practices. Some of these things we've been understanding them, others we haven't actually kept an eye on them, and these are the things that clients look out when they are looking through your shops. What must you have on your website, on your e-commerce website? What things should you implement first and most? for, you know, someone to come and understand your site. Okay, um, assuming some of us have really uh, had this, but we've all, had, we've all had a user experience when it comes to online buying. We've used Jumia before, yes. And uh, I have used this. I will keep my views, but yes, I've used it. I've come to a lot of tutorials about Elementor. Just read them. Okay, uh, this is Miss Miley. Customers buy for their reasons, not yours. You understand that? If you do say it. 
customers buy for their reasons, not shoes. Well, it can be your right to create an online shop, but if you create something that has no customer base, you will, it will just be you on your website. No one will, you know, look through it or buy stuff from you because what you're selling, actually, either way it is something that looks fishy or your customer base is not in Uganda or in YouTube application. So, customers buy for their reasons, not you. So, you need to make sure that they are giving it to the buyer and like, no, this is not what I like, change this, 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 and this. And you're like, what am I, what am I presenting? But they have. So, it's their, it's their, uh, their reasons, not yours. Current, okay, small, small, with some clients, and I've been disappointed with some big projects because I've been, there's a project that took one year to do, and you know, presented and they changed everything, and I was very, very happy. Like, this is going to be my benchmark in my portfolio, it's a government website. When I finished it, I was like, I don't think I can even share a link to this website. And I have never shared a link to that website, but that's what I'm saying. But yes, it's customers with not to use. Yeah, together. Amen? Okay. Well, if your business sells tangible products, you need to have strong online presence. But with so much competition in the e-commerce space, it can be tough for you to establish your ground. Not only are you competing with local or regional brands, but you also have to deal with the international giants such as Amazon, Walmart, our friends there, among others. So whenever you put your, your e-commerce website out there, you're not only competing with the people uh, around your region, but the same sellers that are doing the same product as you are part of your competition. Now what people don't know is, whenever you're online, the same, uh, the same power they have, you have. Because no one has uh, better internet than the other. I hope you understand me. It's not like one lives in Nigeria, you know, the other one lives in Katanga. But internet is internet. You're all on the same level. What you have to do is your implementation and how you're going to uh, project yourself out. That is what makes the difference. So, it is very important for you to focus on every detail for your e-commerce website. Something very small can spook your client not to buy from you. An unanswered message, an unanswered inquiry. Okay, some of these are go inside there, but there's one annoying thing that I always get. People put in chat box or chat plugins on their, on their websites and they don't reply instantly. I feel like I want to throw away my computer because someone has just done that. It's... But in this case, a part of those people, you don't have to put... At least you put an email, the night will answer in 24 hours. And when someone sends that email, you tell them that yes, this is a lot to generate an email, you will be replied in 24 hours for this. Don't lie, and then you send that email, and nothing happens. Okay, that's it. Sell shoes. Whenever a client comes, I have to put shoes from the slider up to the footer, and where there are those small, small credits powered by, also put another product down there. So you make the website cluttered with a lot of things that clients actually won't even differentiate which is which. I'm sure you something. So, with, uh, what's the first thing is a business is? You need to make sure that your site is designed in a way where... So, I say too much clutter makes it difficult for someone to identify your call to actions. Uh, call to actions, I think, these days. And for those people, I really enjoy numbers. And all of these websites that have been implemented, I make sure that I install Google Analytics and still Bing. Now Bing shares analytics with Google. And then Bing has that tool, it's called Microsoft Clarity, where it monitors heat maps. And then it also does videos of how people click 
on your on your website, you will be wowed. I sit down in my free time and look through. Sometimes I show Serena and she doesn't understand and I tell her, just be happy. These numbers are here, just be happy. When you see people clicking through a call to actions, you know that when people who are going to check it, what's the people who are going to check it? And then it's like, uh, and then I told you, okay, if there are people who are going to check it, do you think a stranger can read this sample in text on top of it? Like, okay. Then I took another screenshot of putting the sample. I think it didn't happen. Like, all right, simplify your friends. Uh, I've seen this a lot. You have a lot of friends, you get some friends, or you can create a bigger thing. So, those things are good. You don't have to go to a website, and you have to have a lot of main items. Do you understand that? I could have shown you an example of that. But some, I realized one thing when I was working with WordPress that people don't know how to use uh, tags and categories. They think everything is a category, and then sometimes those who use tags, they think tags are categories. So you need to differentiate. What I always tell them is that a category is a subject. Then tags are small, small features that feature those subjects. In a way, where I can tell you that if my post is a, not a political post, it's an entertainment post, and then facts to find out content that's related to the big school, I hope we understand each other. So you don't have to create so many tags to have t shirts, dip shirts, sweaters, stamp tops, everything. But you find that when someone clicks tops, they can want, they might want to choose what they love best. Either sleeves, long sleeves, or sweaters, or tank tops. So you give them a variety, but in a normalized manner. That's simplicity with the menus. Next. Well, we have this one big animal, the checkout process. I always say, an e-commerce website is not an e-commerce website if you don't have payment gateways. And we've worked with the ministry before, and we are happy to work with them, go talk through the country to see, to teach e-commerce. And the websites, they showed us, we were like, are you sure this is an e-commerce website? We're like, yes, it is e-commerce. They have checkouts, and then after checkouts, it, send, it sends a form to the admin and tells them that someone is, is intending to buy. And yet, in one of my presentations, I had this exact thing I told them, an e-commerce is not an e-commerce, it has no payment. Now, 